So I let me start with my tool. Usually I um, I use a um, chalk brush or I use my fingers to put some chalk here. So I start with the neck. Like people that been to my seminars know I like to start from the neck. So I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit here. So the neck, you know the direction to pull. I, I normally pull the side of the neck in this direction towards the, towards the shoulder. The front I'll pull down and the top I'll pull st I'll straight back, okay? So keep pulling. Adjust the pressure of your of your strokes here okay so if you hear if you see the hair is getting thinner don't put too much pressure because then you can make a hole stay baby stay stay okay stay stop stop okay hey stay so in the maintenance grooming I, I uh, continue to pull, I grab the longer hair, you see as I lift here, I hope you guys can see here, as I lift here, there's too much hair, so I'll, I'll get the long ones and pull, okay? Stay. Right here. So when you do a maintenance, uh, maintenance grooming, you, it, I, I, when I say you, it's like I'm telling the way I do it, okay? So what I do in a maintenance grooming, I don't wanna do the dog to the end every time. I don't wanna finish the dog grooming every time. I wanna uh, leave the dog one groom away, always one groom away from being finished, okay? One. Uh, one session away from being finished to be shown. So I keep pulling the long hair, you know, uh, and, uh, but I don't do the whole, I do the dog overall, all parts, but not finish, okay? There will be a little bit to be finished when I finish this section, but with one more grooming, I would be able to, uh, show her by the time it's time to show when it's three weeks from like three weeks no uh, it's in March so it's almost uh, six weeks from now Being very gentle here. Okay. Going to go into the shoulder here. See, uh, as I lift, there's some hair here. So I grab the long hair and try to pull. This part is short. So. This uh, it's for people that are curious on how I groom to look and see how I do it. Uh, I remember, I've always said there's people that do it differently and get to the same or even better results sometimes. So uh, there's not only one way of doing. And uh, so if you learn different, a different way of doing this from somebody else, and I'm showing you my way, and it's not the same. It doesn't mean one is right, one is wrong. It means we we learned to do in a different way. And if it, I'll, what I say is for people that go to my seminar, if they do it different, certain part of the dog, it's work, and it's working for them. If they think they're the uh, the grooming looks good, don't change it, you know, like you may try a little bit just to see how it is, but don't change your way because it, it, it you're achieving 
what you want. However, when uh, you you do a certain way and you don't think you're achieving uh, the grooming uh, the results as you want, then my, it is worth trying some some other way and see if you can get the results you want you know like you see this side has more hair here so i have a I haven't worked her for almost two weeks so um, so i leave to here I give a little tap here and i grab the long hair here and I pull towards the shoulder and the side here. Every about 10 minutes I have to stop the video so it doesn't get too long to post here. So, hey, stay. Uh, you can do with the hand too, you know. I use the tool, but you can also do with your, your fingers. The important thing when you look the dog here from the side, it has to be a line that there's not much hair going on like there is here. So it gotta be a, a very smooth line in the front here of the neck. So that's what you have to strive for without showing too much skin. Some people, uh, they do too short and you can see the dog's skin. I prefer not. And sometimes they don't have a choice because the dog doesn't have much in their coat and everything. So um, I have to I have to um, take the hair without showing the skin as much as I can. I'm gonna stop a little bit and I'll come back. 